year has passed since the... Excuse me, what are you doing in here? Um, you've been fired. The producer didn't like you. What? You can't do this. Uh, security. Hey, get off of me. The audience won't stand for this. They'll never notice we sound exactly alike. We sound nothing alike. Hey! Hey! Now, where were we? Aha! <clears throat> Half a year has passed since the Chosen One, Rose, the Captain of the Guard, and Hunter, the Ranger, defeated the Dark Wizard, Mauron. The three were lauded across the land for ridding the world of the last Dark Wizard once and for all. The trio have gone their separate ways, but they have remained close friends. The Chosen One was disappointed to learn that life continues after one fulfills one's destiny. He took up farming to pass the time, but he found it monotonous and dull. He begins dreaming of going on another adventure. This corn, it is corny. Good. One presumes. Good evening, Hunter. Good evening, one. How's the corn? It is atrocious. It simply sits there like a... like a... a vegetable. How mundane, how tedious. I think mundane and tedious are synonyms. Ah, synonym. I've heard of that spice. In truth, synonym is much less dull and wettysome than corn. Corn, corn, corn. Morn after morn after morn. Your life sounds very repetitive. Not only that, it is also redundant. goes there. Hail! What kingdom is this? I am the Chosen One, the destined protector of the land of Sinri. Oh, not another one. Greetings! This is the great kingdom of Royal Yumi. You approach the city of Mason Del Un. I am Rose, the captain of the town guard. Oh, Captain. A Captain! My King, he is ill, and I have been looking for heirs to this throne. I have looked wide and far, but have not had any success. You should come with me. I know someone who would be able to help. Excellent! Let's go! Okay. Are... Are, are we going? Oh, you mean now? Well, I, I just... I just assumed if, if that's okay with you. I think it's a great idea. Unfortunately, I'm on duty. I can't take you anywhere until I finish my shift. And someone comes to relieve me. How, how long was... Not long. How long do you think? About three hours. This, this is... Kind of urgent. Did I stutter? The next city is in that direction if it's so important. That's okay. I'll wait. So, you from around here? Mm hmm. Come to this bridge often? Shh! This duty requires discipline and silence.
After a few uneventful hours of bravely standing together, defending the land from any would-be trespassers, a deer and a squirrel, Rose and the protectors see the other guard approaching. He's about half an hour late because his sundial wasn't working, but Rose is a patient and forgiving leader. The protector is a little less forgiving because she's in a hurry and her feet are tired. Corn. Shit, that's the most versatile crop I grow. It goes with everything. Corn bread, corn soup, corn on the cob, corn off the cob, corn dogs. Dogs? Don't you know what a dog is? Don't you know what I'll do to you if you say that word again? A dog? No, the other one. You. No, C-O-R-N. What is C-O-R-N? Corn. He's spilling corn. Don't say it. What's spelling? I think it's best if you just leave. The Chosen One's had a long day. Excuse me. I'd like to speak to Hunter and the Chosen One. Alone. Of course, Captain Rose. Evening, Rose. Who's this? I am the Chosen One. The destined protector of the land of Sumerian. You're a chosen one? Indeed I am. Perhaps you've heard of me? You've never met another prophesied chosen one before. They're literally everywhere. That farmer that just left was probably the heralded hero of Hodes or something. Then... you too are a chosen one? Well, sooth, I am the chosen one, the great destroyer of the Dark Wizards. Hast thou not heard of mine victory? I thought he was getting over that archaic language. He slips up from time to time. We're the three that defeated Moron, the last of the Dark Wizards. Ah. I thought there was a conspicuous lack of Dark Wizards around these days. I brought the Protector here because I thought we could help her. She's on a quest to find the rightful heir to Sinre. Our king is dying, and he has no heirs. The ancient prophecy said that the rightful king is able to bear the legendary sword of truth. I am destined to serve the king in defense of his kingdom. I've never heard of the sword of truth. And I'm not sure having a sword should be the one and only qualification for being king. I will aid you, milady. We must search for this legendary sword at once. I came to your kingdom hoping somebody would know something about it. <laughs> I might know someone. The following day, the team makes their way to the nearby hamlet, where Hunter's friend, the priest, lives. Coming here. Because elements of Christianity are fanatically ubiquitous in Western fiction. Oh. Is he praying? Nay, he is dead! Oh, woe is me! Goodness, I must have fallen asleep. It's so peaceful here. Greetings, Father. Greetings, stranger. I've heard stories of your great exploits since last you visited. Hunter is fine. You remember Rose and the one? Well, this is the other one. The destined protector of something or other. The chosen one. The destined protector of the land of Sinri. I like to think we're all chosen in our own way. What brings you here this day? I'm on a quest to find the legendary Sword of Truth. The Sword of Truth? Do you know it? Of course. I know all the prophecies. A man came asking about it a few days ago. Wait. What? Who? Uh, young, dark-haired, uh, had a cut on his face, and he kept smiling. Oh, Namre! God bless you, my child. He is the king's treacherous brother. He is trying to find the sword so that he can be king and conquer the world. Holy... <clears throat> Lord, save us from this impending disaster. Amen. We must go find the sword at once! 
How can we make it in time? He has a few days head start. There's only one way. To the forest of terror. I told Anamari to avoid it at all costs. But you must be wary. It is a very dangerous place. Let's go. Wait. You don't know where it is. Ah, oh, that's right. Where is it? It is located in the ruins of the abandoned city, Zigzaglik Wingdom Drop. How do you spell it? Z B Y X S T L. I C K Q U W E N G J A M B D R O P H F. I can see why they abandoned it. Ah, uh, I know it well. Our heroes set out toward the ruins. They traverse the forest of terror, fighting giant rats, horde monsters, and dragons. The director decided to cut those scenes in an effort to keep the film family friendly. This is an epic adventure movie, not a horror movie. Thank you for understanding. And we're here. Oh no, we're too late. Ha! Oh, Namre, you cannot be king. Only the true Justin King has the ability to pull the legendary sword of truth from its resting place. No! It is my birthright. I will be king. Swine! Over our dead bodies! Sure about that? Yeah, maybe we should reconsider that. How about we talk for a moment? Nay! Sorry. Wait, wait. I'll do anything. Just please don't hurt me. Anything? Will he be the court jester? Yeah, sure. Sounds good. You should watch where you're shooting. You should watch where you're walking. You should watch where you're shooting. You should watch where you're walking. Let us retrieve the blade! Wait, stop! One at a time! Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? Just took a little bit of teamwork. Oh. You've ruined everything. Only the true king is supposed to pull the sword from the ground. How will I know which one is the true king? You can't all rule the kingdom at the same time. Actually, we can. It's called an oligarchy, honey. Look it up. And so, the chosen one Captain Rose and Hunter the Ranger of the city of Mesendel Un in the kingdom of Royam became the king, queen, and other king, respectively, of the great kingdom Sinre.
Marvel's plotting a coup. Thank goodness, I am so done with being queen. Let's go get the one and hunter. So how about those taxes? I hate taxes. So much paperwork and I can barely write. But the money goes to us. The people are rioting and they're planning a coup. Oh, finally! I'm ready for some more adventures! Let's go! And they all lived happily ever after. After being happily deposed by a group of peasants who decided to set up a democratic system of government. The protector stayed on as a bodyguard for the new leader of the land of scenery, of course. And then the one, Rose, and Hunter go looking for another adventure. And then they actually do live happily ever after. The end.